What is up guys? Welcome back to the fan channel with weekly update number six. Yeah, all right, there we go. <laughs> all right, um, and correct me, I think this is pretty darn sure. I think this is six. And uh, if not, maybe seven, but I'm pretty sure it's six. Anyways, in front of the camera right now, I have a brand new Brick Manny Universal Carrier. And uh, just to let you guys know, I did not actually buy the ridiculously priced $125 set or kit. Actually, uh, back, ooh, I didn't want to say June, I bought the uh, the battle pack, I think it's called. And uh, I still had the instructions for the tan version, so I was able to use the instructions and interpret it into dark gray. And I bought the parts off Bricklink, and uh, it looks great in dark gray. I know he sells a kit now that's in dark gray. And uh, it's a lot cheaper actually buying the instructions and then building the kit yourself because it saves you about, I want to say, 100 bucks. Because he sells the kit for like 120 and the parts are usually between 20 to $30. So there's a much better deal to actually make the kit yourself. And um, uh, yeah, you guys have already seen the review, so I'm not going to go over too much about it. I just love the color gray and it looks great. It's a great um, little, you know, little build. Uh, but there is a lot of parts involved into it, so it's not as simple as it could be. And it definitely beats my version of the carrier, which I had to steal the tracks from for this one. Alright, so I'm just going to flip over, put this one down. And uh, I definitely want to say thank you for uh, buying quite a few of the figures. Those are the packages uh, of like, let's say six orders um, that are going out tomorrow. Uh, six packages are going out tomorrow, and that's like, I want to say a good... Probably about 20, 30 figures in these. I know somebody bought six, and uh, some others mostly bought two to three. Thank you. And um, I got a surprise for you guys. Um, I'm having my famous decal man, Dutch from Flickr, uh, design me some decals for Nazi zombies. And uh, a lot of you love to play Call of Duty and Halo Reach. So I thought it'd be really cool because I love to play. Nazi Zombies, I don't dare put Call of Duty in my console unless I'm playing that game. I'm not a big fan of the Call of Duty multiplayer. Um, but I am a big fan of Call of Duty War to War and Black Ops for having the uh, zombie feature. So, I thought it would be great because um, on the internet... <coughs> excuse me. Uh, on the internet, you do not, and I mean do not, see a lot of zombies. And you see a lot of World War II guys, but you don't actually see a lot of zombies. So, um, we have one of my friends, LSW, uh, animations, stories and animations, so let's pick up. Hey guys, what's up? Oh, we got a lot of them. Uh, g guys, I'm actually filming weekly update number six, you wanna say hi? Sure. Yeah, just say hi. Sure. Hey everybody. Yep. Hi. LSW stories and animations here. Hi. Yep, so we got 1-1 one -one Lego reviews, we got Clone Trooper Customs. And we have LSW Stories Animations. So uh, I guess they're going to be listening while I continue with the weekly update. Alright, well anyways, um, a lot of you saw the, uh, or the recently I put out the review of these amazing Clone Army Customs. Of uh, the Tech one Fives in Arc Trooper form. And I did want to know, in my upcoming film Landings at Point, Rain, which one do you want to see in the film? These guys or these guys? Your choice. Or I can somehow interpret both. Uh, both. And uh, it's up to you. And I'll, um, I'll try to do my best to interpret a story, but yeah, it's up to you guys. Arc or regular. Um, but yeah. Uh, anyways, back to the zombies. The zombies should be done hopefully this weekend, depends on when uh, Dutch gets me those decals. Um, this is also where I do a lot of the figure reviews and pictures of some stuff on my Flickr. And um, I've really been considering this. Um, a lot of you, for some reason, did like this Commander Devis I did. And it's kind of simple, all I did is uh, did the decal, and for just the torso decal to make it more like Lego. Uh, instead of actually doing like the arms and the uh, waist and the legs. Um, but I am actually going to consider of making like 
uh, like a very few amount of these guys and sell them on the website. So I want you guys to vote below. Tell me if you want to see those zombies, Nazi zombies um, from Call of Duty, World at War, and uh, Black Ops. And also if you would like to buy this Commander Devis. And uh, it will come with the rifle. It will come with micro binoculars. I will, I will definitely show you those next update video. And that's when he should be on the site selling. Also, I want to thank you guys to go in the live chat on the website, legoboyproductions.com. It's been going well, but we did have a couple spammers, and some people were getting out of hand, but I took care of that. Uh, moving on, uh, let's see what else we got. I just got in uh, about right before the update video. I think I might show you these guys, um, but I did get some of my Aerialite 212 helmets, so I might be making some decals and 212 figures, along with some 327th, uh, or... Day 27, 7 Sky Corps um, Troopers, since I have this type of helmet as well. And uh, I may actually decal these as well, because these uh, do have the Snow Trooper, but I would like to make it more like a Clone Wars decal. And um, let's move on. Okay, uh, oh, I want to show you this. Uh, showed this on my Flickr. Lego is actually making smaller battle pack boxes. If you know, this is actually much more square and actually smaller. And uh, I thought I should want to show this to you. So when you go to Target or Lego Store, you start, you're going to start seeing this type of box. And uh, let's see, what else? Oh, um, here is one of the scenes from Landing at Point Rain I was filming the other day. Um, I know there's not much on it, but I had to take a lot of off. Take a lot of the stuff that's on it off. And um, Series 4 minifigures were coming out. Probably get a few of those. Um, there's some of the torsos and stuff I use to decal uh, the figures. You know, uh, when I say figures, I mean my awesome looking Germans. And uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. I think I showed this guy a long time ago, but I'm going to show him again. This is, uh, I forget his name, he's uh, Emerald of the Confederacy, but he's got like cool little uh, like cloak or cape um, that I put on them and basically just take a, um, a real, like a Darth Vader cape cut it down a little bit and you can attach it to his arms uh, and uh, when you're animating just don't show his back like that just show side angles like that and front angles just don't show back angles and if you show a back angle like cut it off like that off the camera um, but yeah, there, there's your little secret when you see him in my film. And uh, he is decaled. Uh, decals are from Fine Clonier. And yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, I did get some more Brick Arms helmets in today for my stuff. And um, yeah, so uh, what do I got in here? Some Brodies, uh, some Stamen Helm, how you say that helmet. And I know I have a modern combat helmet. Here's one of those. I, this is actually my first time getting it. I never felt like the need to get them till now. So I may, you know, also tell me what figure, you know, other than Star Wars figures, I do want to know what you guys want to know. Uh, would you guys actually like to see a modern combat guy instead of the zombies? Uh, you know, tell me because I'm doing it for you guys. I'm not doing it for myself. I could make a billion stuff for myself if I wanted to, but doing it for you guys because you guys are the stuff who buy it uh, you guys are the people who buy it so I need to know what you actually like the fans so it's, your opinion really does count and uh, definitely tell me would you guys like to see Modern Combat Guy you would like to see Mr. Devis uh, maybe Mr. Cody which I still haven't decaled the front of him yet I still only have his uh, back decal um, sorry I'm a little behind on that and uh yeah, I definitely want to know. And uh, a lot of you also ask what kind of decal paper I use. Um, it really depends on your printer. Um, I have an Epson um, printer, and it prints at a very good speed. It is an inkjet printer, and you want... Um, remember I told you guys to go to decalpaper.com. Usually, most likely, the type of your printer, if it's newer, it's most likely going to be an inkjet. Usually I get inkjet clear decal paper. You can get about 25 sheets for about $21. They're expensive, but what you can do with them is really cool. 
And when you do print your decals, do not waste the paper. Make sure you fill the entire paper with decals. Don't waste it because it is expensive. Um, and also spray your decal paper with um, with um, the sealant first. The sealant that you're going to seal them at the end with. When you seal the decal, once you apply it onto the figure, you um, before that you want to seal the actual decals on the paper. Just spray some of it onto the paper. Why? Well, you see, remember, the ink is put onto that clear decal paper. And when those decals... Here, let me show you an example, actually. Um, here's some water right here. I use this a little, like, Lego cup. Um, I'm going to show you. When I dip it into the water, take it out. And, um, let's see. So basically what just happened is when you put in the water the decal comes off and there is what's left this is actually behind the decal paper this is the real clear stuff and this bonds with the actual torso you would slip it on and the water actually acts as a sealant but it's not pure enough okay so uh, there it is um, and it's a horrible sloppy job because I'm doing this in front of the camera and uh, maybe I'll make a full tutorial on how to do decals but you see this you have to seal it because when you dip it into the water, you see it's uh, that ink that you put on there is going to get wet and it's going to fade. Okay, that has happened to me, and um, you have to seal it so the ink does not come off. Okay, that's a very important thing you must remember, and that's why probably a lot of you who tried water slide um, definitely forgot that step. And uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. And make sure you have a blank torso like this, and uh, the way you get that is by taking a thing called Brasso. You can get this at like your local hardware shop. Take like a towel and rub it very fast back and forth on top of the Brasso chemical. It's not a chemical that's gonna kill you, it's actually brass polish. And also it's what you can use to polish your Legos if they get like yellow or if they have some dust on it. It's a really good polisher for Lego. Um, but if you polish it too hard, like I said, it take um, take, takes off Lego printing. And also, as you guys saw, the Commando Droids, Make sure you buy these, ClownerMyCustoms.com, along with the ClownerMyCustom Art Troopers. Don't forget that Echo, or, yeah, there he is, Echo, who sadly died. Yeah, I know, it's a very fatal thing. Don't forget, he comes with these really awesome blaster pistols. He's the only one on the site that actually comes with these prototype pistols, so it's important that you get him. And, uh, yeah, as I showed in the review, he is, like, a really epic guy. Definitely should buy him. And uh, you're de definitely getting your money's worth off of. And uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching the review. Uh, tell me what I want want you guys to know. Most likely, I'm going to be doing those Nazi zombies. Can't wait to start making uh, decaling those. Can't wait to see uh, how many di um, how many of them you guys buy. And uh, like I said, probably a limited edition of five Devises. So be sure you keep aware of those. And um, Yep, that's about it, guys. Um, and also, tell me if you want to see some modern combat, guys. Um, I'm going to get Dutch decaling on those uh, modern combat. You know, I want to know. I want to know. What do you guys want to buy? What do you guys want to see on my videos? It's all about that. It's about the fans. All right, um, before I go, I want to say goodbye to these guys on uh, Skype. Guys, you want to say anything? Uh, not really. Just remember to vote for the Osbricks. Oh, yes. They're now open on the site. Yeah, Osbricks. Um, you can find more about that on 1-1 Lego Reviews, 1-1. One, one. And, uh, yeah, it's basically the Oscars, except in Lego. So check that out. Uh, link will be below for that. Anything else, guys? Um, also, just another reminder, Clone Army Customs is also sponsoring us. So the prizes will be sure to be great. Yep. So, yep. And that's really cool. All right. See you guys later. Uh, sorry, this was a very long update of 15 minutes, but I did show you a lot of cool stuff. Stay tuned for update number 7, or number 8, if I forgot in the beginning. Haha. <laughs> See you guys.